Tanley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure healing, miracle working love. I want to talk to you today about healing from cancer. Let me read first from Psalm 103, verses 1 to 5. Praise the Lord, my soul, and all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Psalm 103, verse 1 to 5. And notice the emphasis on forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. One of the most insidious diseases known to humankind is cancer. Why? Because it brings fear with it. Just the name cancer many times puts people in a psychological and emotional bondage that's hard for them to overcome both mentally and spiritually. But if you believe God and believe his holy word, remember what is written. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? You can read that in Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. Now, in the podcast show notes, I've given you several teaching links. One is healing for all sickness and disease. One is how to know that healing is the will of God. One is healing of unbelief. One is how to be healed, healing scriptures. And then the link to healing and miracle podcasts. Let me first say that if you've been diagnosed with cancer, no matter what kind, do not give up hope. And remember that faith is the substance of things for which you hope. In other words, you can create with faith. It's substance. Faith is the evidence of things not seen. It's as simple as this. You can create or make what you hope for from your faith. Build your faith by reading and speaking and believing what is written in the Word of God. Speak scriptures out loud to yourself daily until they're strong in your inner man, your inner spirit. Also, stay fit emotionally. Walk, exercise, eat good food. Tomatoes are believed to be one of the best cancer-fighting foods available. Heat them up to release the lycopene. Lycopene is currently the most powerful antioxidant which has been measured in food. Other foods high in lycopene are guavas, watermelon, grapefruit, dried parsley and basil persimmons, asparagus, liver, chili powder, and red cabbage. Pray and ask God if you're to undertake any medical treatment. There's nothing wrong with going to physicians and seeking medical help or advice, but what we should do is seek the Lord first to see what he wants us to do. He may want to heal us by his sovereign power over a period of time or instantly. Remember what happened to King Asa in the 39th year of King Asa's rule. He was diseased in his feet until his disease was very critical. Yet in his disease, he did not seek the Lord, but he went to the physicians for help. He died two years later. You can read about that in Second Chronicles chapter 16, verse 11 to 13. Also, if you're undergoing medical treatment, pray and ask God to use the medications and or the treatment. Never give up hope. Remember the Holy Bible tells us, and now continually enduring are these three, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Love is one of the greatest healing agents on earth. Conversely, hatred, bitterness, and unforgiveness are the most damaging agents on earth. I put a link in the show notes for my book, Health and Healing, Complete Guide to Wholeness. Study the part in that book titled, Hindrances to Healing and Wholeness, It's under the section, Prayer and Proper Mental Attitude. If you're considering therapy of any kind, you should also consider this. Which is more important for you, quality of life or quantity of life? If you desire quality of life, then no treatment may be your best option. But if you desire quantity of life, then therapy, including surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, cyber knife, or proton therapy, may be your option. However, realize that some chemical or hormonal therapy, such as ADT, androgen deprivation therapy, may use chemical injections by shots that can cause serious side effects. You should search online support groups to find what people are experiencing from such medicines. One of the best online support groups, and it's very excellent, is Health Unlocked. 
I put a link for that in the show notes of the podcast. Whichever option you decide upon, just as the person who chooses to trust God with no therapy, you should do what God leads you to do and trust Him for your healing as well as health. By the way, I want you to check out ADT drugs. ADT drugs, or androgen deprivation therapy, can have serious side effects. One such drug, Lupron, should be carefully considered before allowing any healthcare practitioner, uh, any MDs or oncologists, urologists included, to administer that medicine. If you do feel like your primary goal is quantity of life versus quality of life, in other words, you're just trying to extend your life, then perhaps you should only consider a one-month or at the most three-month injection to see what the side effects are in you. If you have a six-month injection of Lupron, you may have to wait for eight months to 12 months for the side effects to wear off, depending on your age and or your health. In some cases, healthcare professionals may use the trade names Lupron, Eligard, Lupron Depot, and Viader when referring to the generic drug named Luprolide. It is classified as an LHRH agonist. My friend, try to enjoy life while you're believing God for your healing. Laughter, it is said, is the best ever medicine. It increases your endorphin levels, raises your immunity, lowers your cholesterol, releases muscular tension, and even massages your internal organs. I heard about a man who cured himself of cancer by watching Laurel and Hardy movies. Check this out. One minute of laughter is equal to 24 hours of your immunity being increased. However, one minute of anger causes a six-hour drop in your immunity. Whenever we laugh, we feel better about ourselves, our lives, and everyone around us. It bonds us to our friends and work colleagues and instantly helps to relieve any emotional tension we're feeling. Watch some good old comedy films, Buster Keaton, Laurel and Hardy, The Three Stooges, Charles Chaplin, Fatty Arbuckle, and others. And remember what I told you, one minute of laughter results in 24 hours of your immunity being increased. But one minute of anger causes a six-hour drop in your immunity. There are some inexpensive ways to increase your immunity. Melatonin is not only reported to be good for your sleep patterns, but also as an antioxidant to strengthen your immune system. Also, vitamin C, reported to be good for fighting cancer. Even some say similar to chemotherapy. There are certain foods you should avoid. There was a study at Rutgers University which found that the box which packaged cereal had more nutritional content than the cereal inside. Refined sugar is also not good to eat as it has no vitamins, no fiber, and it's reported to feed cancer. Along with the lycopene type vegetables I mentioned earlier, fruit and berries are excellent foods. I usually make one or two fruit smoothies every day. Bananas, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, and, and sometimes I mix vanilla or banana flavored protein powder in them. It's reported that 50 grams a day of nuts, I usually eat almonds, can add five years to your lifespan and also strengthen your heart. Some of the worst foods you can eat are cold cut or prepackaged meats and preservatives. They are carcinogenic and can cause cancer. The same goes with most processed foods. Also, try not to microwave too much. 30 seconds probably is okay, but too long, like more than five minutes, can destroy the protein value of food. Also, you might want to check out IP6. IP6 is inositol hexaphosphate. It's a vitamin-like substance. It's found in animals and many plants, especially cereals, nuts, and legumes. It can also be made in a laboratory. Some people use IP6 to treat and prevent cancer, including prostate cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, liver cancer, and blood cancers. Researchers have been studying the role of IP6 in cancer treatment and prevention since 1988, but so far there have been no studies in people with cancer. A book called IP6, Nature's Revolutionary Cancer Fighter, by prominent IP6 researcher Abu Kalam M. Shamsu, MD and PhD, has popularized IP6 as an anti-cancer tool. IP6 is also used for boosting the immune system, treating anemia, and preventing heart disease and kidney stones. In manufacturing, IP6 is added to food to keep it from spoiling. Here's how IP6 works. IP6 might help treat and prevent cancer by slowing down the production of cancer cells. It might also bind to certain minerals, decreasing the risk of colon cancer. 
IP6 is also an antioxidant. It's never too late to start being a good steward of what God has given you. Many people are good stewards or managers of their finances, but miserable stewards of their body. What good is it to lay up finances for yourself if you're not going to live long enough to enjoy them? And more importantly, what good is it even to be a good steward and lay up finances for the kingdom of God if you're going to cut your life short by reason of ill health and only be able to produce for the kingdom of God 80 years instead of 111 years? By the way, I encourage you to read my daughter's healing testimony. She was diagnosed with a tumor on her brainstem which was not operable due to location, and I placed a link for her testimony in the podcast show notes. I trust this teaching will encourage you, my friend, to trust God and receive your healing and then help you to become an instrument of healing for others in the future while you enjoy his prosperity to share with others and build his kingdom. And by the way, I've placed notes to two of my books in the show note podcast. One of them is Healing and Health, Complete Guide to Wholeness. The other one is Total Healing Toolbox, A to Z Workshop. There's lots of key information in there. And also, you might want to get one of those to help a friend who's in need. And let me remind you, my friend, with God, all things are possible. Now, I want to pray for you. Father in heaven, I pray for the person listening to this podcast. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, anybody with cancer or tumors or malevolent work or workers in their body, I curse those works and those conditions. In the name of Jesus, they cannot trespass in the body of God's people, and I serve them an eviction notice. I command them to depart, to cease and desist, never to come back, and I loose the healing power of Christ in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. My friend, be healed, and then share the healing power of Christ with others. This has been your friend, Prince Handley, coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure, healing, miracle-working love. Baruch Abba, Adonai.